And we're live. Evening, boys. How you doing? How's everybody? Good. How's your vacation? Awesome. Look at the sun awesome. tan. <laughs> huh? A little tan. Yeah, you're a little tan. <laughs> it might be a little bit darker than you, but I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> hey, you're, you're almost up to me. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I looked good. You do look good. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's Wednesday, August 21st, and we're back. I took a week off, so they took a week That's off. That's right. We like when the boss takes a week off. Exactly. <laughs> you yeah. know you're the boss now, right? Me? Yeah. yeah. I, no? didn't, I didn't see that email. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I just figured. But any, but in any event, it's been a couple of weeks since <clears throat> our uh, since our really cool show at that, uh, PJ Willahan. That was awesome. Yes. Uh, Matt Stairs was the, was the perfect guest for the perfect night. And uh, for that, we thank him again yes. and again and again. Yes, thank very you. nice. Um, very, very nice. Thanks to these a, guys for having us. Yeah, I mean, PJ's was, uh, again, a, you know, a proud uh, sponsor. Absolutely. And uh, we, uh, we did well as, uh, as a presenting sponsor. Yes, we did. <laughs> so uh, we've, got, we've got a couple of announcements coming later on in the show. Uh, we'll just throw that out yeah, there for now. Geez. So <laughs> we'll throw that out there for yeah, now. But we so, got, uh, we, hang out with us for a while. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot. You can you can tell by the table the time. table what what we got a lot going well, on. I'm ready to hear some bongo drums with these things sitting on the table. Uh, how about <laughs> them? Huh? They're all over the boardwalk. I had to have them. They're awesome. I had to have them. <clears throat> did you get so, enough to sell in the store? I did, of course, of course. Right. Yeah. It's 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 always <laughs> retail first. <laughs> But um, first and foremost, our guy Charlie Manuel's back. Yes, thank right. God. Charlie's back. So we, uh, CCC Charities is doing a uh, fundraiser. We're selling 100 chances at 10 bucks a piece. You get a jersey. You get a World Series ball. You get a mini helmet, all signed. 08 World Series champs. Nice. One of the chance. Yep. 66 sold as of an hour ago. Yes, really. 66 sold, so we got 34 to go. Nice, gentlemen. So, um, going fast. And how yeah. much are they? 10, 10 bucks? 10 bucks a piece. Give me 10. So, well, there you go, down to, down um, to 24 now. <laughs> so, that's number one on our, on, on our list of things to do. Um, second and foremost, Matt Stairs doing a 50 50 raffle. Yep. For the SPCA up in Canada, his hometown of uh, Fredericton, SPCA, and Matt Stairs. Winter windfall cash draw. Those are 10 bucks a piece. You can buy those through Carl's Cards on our website. So we're, you know, this has nothing to do with us other than we're promoting it for Matt, who, yes. who is a friend of ours and a friend of the show right. and a friend for life. So, you know, a couple of $10 things and you know, you can win some, some nice prizes. Yeah. So um, with that being said, we've got a couple of signings coming up. we got a private signing with Hall of Famer Bob Clark on, um, it's actually the 29th. We need the items in-house the day before the 28th, which is our next show here. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so they need to be in by next Wednesday. Yes. <clears throat> before 6.30. Yeah. Well, well, 6 15. Before six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, come on, that was a nice sale. It was a good. That was a good sale. I was a good sale. I was scurrying, but but that and, was a nice sale. And we did it with a minute to spare. Yeah. You want to talk about perfect timing? Perfect timing. I got so, some nice cards. And he's going to give us a shout out when when when, when, he, when, he, when gets he pulls home. when he pulls the big yeah. uh, the big one. Kyle Murray. <laughs> so the Clark Private. That's what is in reference to the, the Clarky banner right there. It's been a while. It's probably been a year, almost a year since we did a, a Clark That's, signing. Yeah, I think it, I think it was some time so last year. So we got that going on. And this guy, Derek Hall, all he does is hit dingers. Run the, uh, He won the home run derby for the uh, AA All-Star League this year. Yeah. Correct? Yes, he did. Second year in a row for he'll be, uh, he'll be in store on August 31st. So that's next Saturday. Right. So he will be here. That's Labor Day weekend. That's Labor Day weekend. Right. Yep. So Derek will be in 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 uh, in the store. 
Um, so tickets are on sale, and 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 we got a we got a great promotion that we're going to hit you with in, in a little bit. Yeah, look it, forward to that. One. It, it go it goes in hand in hand with one of our announcements, <laughs> which is which is pretty cool. So, Amazing how that works out, isn't it? Yeah, so we're, 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 we're a we, lot of teasers. You know, we got we got well, a lot going on in the next two weeks. You circle so, all together, but yeah. uh, we'll 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 bring it all full circle by the end of the it'll, show. It'll all make sense by seven thirty. It'll, it'll, yep. yep, yep. Maybe so, seven thirty-five. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, we still got to process it. So we got the Charlie Manuel, the Bob Clark, the Derek Hall. I miss anything? No. Nope. Right now, no. So let's let's talk about that for a minute. We can talk about it. What what do you think the purpose was of bringing him in? I mean, one, I think it was probably one of the best moves they made all year. Um, because it gets well, they didn't make many moves all year. So well, <laughs> I I get that, but at least it it has somebody in the dugout who is not. 150 percent analytics right so i think that's why it's, it's a good idea to bring him but in. he's got the assistant hitting coach sitting right beside him yeah. with with the papers right and what you do know? you think charlie's doing get away from me <laughs> like, come on dude <laughs> get away from me come on I, I, well, I on the other end of the bar <laughs> I already got this on the control yeah i got my spot here go sit somewhere else no i i you know i personally you know i thought it was a great move um I thought it was a move that that was long overdue. Yes. Um, yeah. Hopefully, it's not a little a dollar too short. Well, really, you, know, you know, there's um, there's there's a there's there's not a lot of place base to be to be played, right? right? What yeah, are we down? 38, 30, 38 games. Yeah. Seven, 38 games left. Yep. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah. So we do have a question. Do you think Capo's coming back next year? Who are you asking? Because you're going to get three different answers. Well, he's asking us. I'm asking you guys. Me first. We'll go. We'll 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 start at the end of the table. My prediction is, when they are mathematically eliminated, he's done. Right. He's gone. <clears throat> he, he will be eliminated at that point. Right. Um, Which my my guess is that they. Give Dusty Watham the job for the rest of the season on an interim basis. Mm -hmm. So you don't think they're going to wait till the end of the season and just not renew his contract? You think they're going to release him? Well, he's under contract. Season. I don't see any reason to hang on to him at right. that point. Right. I don't. I think they want to see if Dusty may be the guy that they missed out right. on a, so give, uh, two give years ago. Chance. Right. You know, you still got you know a few games to play, but like John and I were talking about today, knowing the Phillies. It could go right down to the last yeah, weekend. Yeah, it could. It so, could absolutely. You know, nobody else is running away with my. You know, my comment could be, you know, not worth anything at that point. But I, I, I don't think he's back either way. Uh, I'm hoping you're right, John. Yeah, I, I don't. What I want, no, for him not to be back. Uh, wow, that's a surprise to me. That is a surprise. <laughs> you know, but I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, I just hope that they don't. Give him the excuse, oh, we had all these injuries. And yeah, you know, he's held it together. You know, you know, I, I don't agree with that. Well, <laughs> well, no, but with all the injuries, like yeah, you can they could they could, you could throw that a lot out worse. There. You could yes. throw it out there that he's held, held it together, yep. you know, he's making the moves, the the players like him, he communicates well with them. Right. Um but do you think at some point but just Seeing him at the post game conferences, telling everybody that everything's perfect, and you know, yeah, and, and then uh, and then coming back on on the radio and saying, "Oh, well, we don't get give participation trophies." <laughs> I don't. I don't. Do you, Do you think at some point in the season can we get one? Yeah, participation trophy. Yeah, we, we had it last 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 show when we had Matt Stairs with us. That was our participation. Trophy. <laughs> so. <clears throat> um, do you think the players stopped playing for him at some point? Him, I, I don't know about him more so. I think John just, Maley just tired because I think I think you know <clears throat> I heard rumors that Bryce Harper was involved with getting Manuel here. Right. Uh, yeah, it, is 
is that true? Or I because I heard there's a rumor. Right. You know, and I, I, I see I also the heard, pictures of those two together. Right. I mean, you see the big hug with him. You know, he sense. went out of his way to give him the hug <laughs> instead of just giving him a yeah. shake afterwards. Yeah. Um, you know, Charlie just brings a, a calmness to the, to the team, you know. And, you know, Hoskins is the only one really struggling, you know, and, and he's just been all screwed up since day one with, with Malley. Yeah. You know, taking all these pitches and just in his head right now. You know, trying to pull everything. So you know, he's on a Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost whisper. Charlie, a lot of pressure, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I, a lot of pressure. Do you think he even feels pressure? No, no. <laughs> he did that simultaneously. Yeah, that was, that was a perfect time. But. but you know, Jack Broder, Mister <clears throat> Hockey, brings up a point about our good friend, Mister Kapler. Right. right. He's not a manager. He wants to be their friend. Right. Right. Well, that's that's the problem. And, that, and that's a good. That's probably one of the best things I've heard all year, you know what I mean? Because right. I look at some of these other managers, you know, they have no problem yanking a guy out of the game for right. not hustling. Right. They they have no problem saying, you know, in the media, hey, you don't hustle, you don't play. Right. You know, <clears throat> you're, look at, you're look at, not going to give 100%, you're not going to play. I look at Court yesterday talking about Bogarts. You know, getting thrown out of third base at the end. That was a terrible play. It can't happen. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's on, on call for. And then and then it happened in back to back plays because the right, guy drifts off, off. <clears throat> just off first base. Right. right. But I mean, there's another team in turmoil. No, they are. Right. I mean, they won the World Series last year. They're, they're doing, a, you know, a 180, right. you know, in their heart, and they shouldn't be. Right. But, you know, pitching is pitching is a premium. Yeah, they just lost two big pitchers. So, I, so. I don't know. So, and by no means is is are we you know we continuing with the bash gate Kepler hour no because that's yeah. that that's not what this is about. No, that's beating a dead horse. We're all we're all Phillies fans. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean. Throw and throw. Right. You know we all spend a lot of money from spring training right all, all through, through the season. season. Right. You know buying tickets, supporting the club, and you know we all we all want to see them do well. Right. You know what I mean. You know. You know this guy's got a, a proven track record. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, Gabe has no track record, proven or unproven. Right. You know what I mean? Right. He, you know, he's a newbie. He's been two years into the job, and we've, we're going backwards. Yes. But, you know, mm -hmm. I don't see, you know, in, in your line of work, if you went backwards in two years, what would your boss say to you? I wouldn't have lasted the two years. Right. You know, I, I just don't. Exactly. I yeah. just don't. And I understand it's sports, and it's a right. different, it's a whole different concept. I just don't see it happening. I don't either. I um, just don't see it. Uh, I'm just curious to see what the next, <clears throat> what, five weeks brings or four weeks. Yeah. Um, because I, I think this is going to be critical for him. Oh, right. And if they don't start producing, then he's done. Mm -hmm. So at this point, the players could have a lot of say in what happens to him. Right. Because if they end up saying we don't want him around, we stop hitting, we stop running, we stop fielding. Yeah, the players won't do that. I know, but, <clears throat> but they could do a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, just to. They'll do more by just in the exit interviews going out at the end of the year, say we don't yeah. want them here. Yeah, you know. Sign, I'm, sign just, I'm just hoping they don't. Because they can't renew do. his contract before that. Uh, yeah. I doubt that'll happen, but. Though he's never been doing, yeah, you, you like just that. can't give up as a as a player, right? Yeah, you because know, you'll get hurt. You could, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. And then plus, it just doesn't look good, you know, for the Phillies extending your contract or right an X team contract. So, no, you can't do that as a player. But it's you just, know, I, I just you know, there's there's been so many questionable things that he's done as a manager that. If they worked, would be brilliant. Right. They would be brilliant. <clears throat> oh, they, yeah. They would be – you'd be changing the landscape of the game. Right. Well, still Kelly. They're not working. Right. They, they don't have the foundation to work. Right. They yep. just they, – it's just not there. You know, they tried planting the seed. They tried all these base running techniques, all these defensive – you know, did you hear the press conference? And now we're back to 
you know, we're back to fundamental baseball. Right. And <laughs> when do when do we stop playing fundamental baseball? Yeah. yeah. That that's and, actually and kind again, of sad if and you again, think about it. And again, you know, <clears throat> They're only two games back in the wild right. card. No, no, exactly. You put right. a five-game winning streak oh, together, you, yeah. anything's possible. Then that's, right? Are they capable of it? Yeah. Are they capable of Absolutely. a five-game winning streak? That goes back to what you said five minutes ago about it's going to come down to it, – it could possibly come down to the last and game. And, again, right. as we sit here as Philadelphia sports fans, right. we want them to succeed. We want right. – I don't want to see them fired. Right. I don't want to see them let go. No. I want to see them win. I want to see them make the playoffs. I Guarante- want to see them win that one game playoff. Right. Guarantee you, we're all going to be sitting here on the edge of our seats until the end of September. Right. I mean, September is going to be a, a tough road with with the, with the schedule yep. they have. I don't know about you, know. you, but I'm worn out. I'm worn out watching games. I mean, right to last night, <laughs> you know, with my boy Hector. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know. You but, know, you take up those two bad base running mistakes, yeah. and and you could but, be talking about a loss. But yeah, you. Man. You should be used to this by now. Well, it, 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 it still wears on you. <laughs> right. Oh, absolutely. How do you think the players feel? Oh, I'm, I'm sure they're feeling it a hell of a lot more than we are. You yeah. know, well, I mean, you know, this team, a this team spent a lot of money. Yeah. They spent a lot of money. Injuries are a big part of the game. Yep. Don't don't include the Yankees in that right. conversation, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're what? How many games up? Ten? Yeah, they're, they're, they're the best team in baseball. Them and the, and the and Astros, right? They yeah, died, you, know, you know. So, so, so you got Steve and Christine watching now in South Carolina. Yeah, they're 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 breaking they're breaking stones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been I've been following that. You know, they're very, uh, you know, they they they're very talkative. Is the voice happy better? Hour, happy oh, hour yeah, must probably, be yeah. happy <laughs> hour must be pretty good. So for that, Christine, there's your shout out. <laughs> Toast one up for us. <laughs> yeah. So I can't imagine there's a sober one in that bunch. <laughs> so oh who are down there with? They're, they're, well, Gerald and Judy live in South Carolina. Okay, they right. moved there years ago. <clears throat> so, you know. So we got them down South Carolina. We got the Ficos up in New York. They're up in Niagara Falls right. playing in the water. I hope. I hope. I yeah. hope Tom don't get pushed in. <laughs> mm. uh, well, well. well well, Linda doesn't drive, so she's got. To, she needs a ride home. Well, so like he, like I said to you, right across the water, there's <laughs> yeah. a casino. And he did tell me they're not going to the casino. So well, we say he may not money. be going. What? <laughs> he was not specific about that. So <laughs> she might say, "Yeah, Tom, go to bed." Right. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you in the morning. morning. <laughs> we got we got Bill Kennedy um, in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. We you know we got all these. Everybody's we're, all over the place. We're international. We got we're all over the place. Joe Stingers down in Florida, right? Joe Stingers, yeah, Stingers down, down in uh, Florida. Brooksville, Florida. Yep. I mean, you know, we're all we're all <clears> over <throat> the place. Oh, we yeah. got uh, my buddy Tim in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Rick McNeil, Hatboro, Pennsylvania. I mean, there you go. Tell you. Good old Hatboro, PA. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, Hatboro. Speaking of shout out, shout outs. So, I'm gonna go back to my vacation. All right. So, <laughs> went fishing a couple of days. We saw. Right. Which I have, I have a question for you, but so you know. I was accused of, sh- of taking photos with the same fish five times. <laughs> That's not true because I saw the pictures. But in any they event, were the same fish. It, no, they weren't. In, a, in any event, it was the same kind of fish. It was the same fish. It was just turned no. sideways. The, the, but what was what was with the. The towel. Those, those little buggers are nasty. Oh, you yeah, those those, <laughs> those yeah. I I don't I don't yeah I don't need all that. <laughs> oh, you yeah. can make fun of me all you want. Yeah, you, you them get little them little well, buggers are nasty. That, that 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 wasn't me asking. That was Bill asking. Oh, Mister, I'm going to shark. Take, I'm going to take you on a shark. <laughs> yeah, Mister Shark Fiction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> yeah. Guess what? I came back. I got. <laughs> I got <laughs> you all ten fingers. <laughs> they're all here, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I like the one with the, the, the Swedish fish, though. <clears throat> that was, that was the best fish. Was that, that not the yeah. best? That was uh-huh. the best one. Was that not the best? How long did it take you to catch that? Uh, when I finished eating all the fish <laughs> in the box. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, everybody's checking in. Levittown, Broomall. I mean, they're, they're all over the place. And we and, and we love each and every one yeah. of you. Yeah. Each and every one of you. Hey, September Brian. 11th. September 11th. I need you in 
BJ so we, we do we do have somebody asking who the, who the uh, special guest is going to be. Well, what, and, and what time is it? Uh, we, I did say later in the show we were going to announce. Well, it's it. got forty minutes. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. We got a we got a ways to go. <laughs> we got a ways to go. We got to keep dangling the carrot. Yeah, exactly. So keep liking and sharing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. How about we give out a prize if somebody guesses? All right, here we go. If they guess, do we do we get to give them a hint? No, absolutely not. Okay, Why, what do you look like? Santa All right, Claus? so so throw some guesses out there. You want to give them one of these? No. no. What are you going to give them? Nothing. Just a congratulations. Oh, okay. We'll give you a shout out. No, we'll, you get, we'll give them is. something. By the way, you know, it might. We'll, we'll give them an autograph. Give them back. back. All right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, we'll, uh, you know, in the the, the back side of, of the show from 7 to 7.30, we'll, we'll, we'll start we'll, uh, making we'll, some announcements. We'll, we'll start throwing some things out. Ben, the, so. the manual uh, raffle's about three quarters of the way filled up right now. Yeah, I just took yeah. a big chunk. <laughs> 66, if he pays, that's another 76. So, uh, Come on, Jack. We already had prop. <laughs> He wants line prop him. again, and he wants Jake fired or traded <laughs> or something. He already mentioned that earlier today. Is it a fly? No questions. <clears throat> Just start throwing out guesses. We'll see who, who has the best guess. It's an athlete. Yeah, it's an athlete. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah okay. Could be. Sports so, related. <laughs> yes, it is sports related. Um, no, so, it's not Steve Harris. <laughs> he, he, he may no. He he's saying it's Steve Harris. Ah. Sean is Sean. Is, it's Steve Harris is our guest. Right. I said no. It's not Steve Harris. So, um, Phillies are back, Boston tonight. Tonight. Right. Off tomorrow. We're off tomorrow. So yeah. Yeah. Only two, two, two two games here. Two well, games they have yeah. two games back in Philly <clears throat> later on in the year. Ah, oh, gotcha. All right. Um, what do you think they do tonight? I think they win. Yeah, yeah. Rochelle's been struggling for them. Okay, and we got Smiley, who's yeah, he's been struggling too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, so, like, but the last, the last, he was lights out the first two. The last right. three have been yeah, lights on. So we have figured out why he was released. So he's due. That's okay. the way I'm looking at it. He's yeah. due. He's due for a good game. Um, and then then when we go to Florida, you know what's going to happen there, right? Um, so, you know, we, we, we seem to play better against those better teams, and, and then we, we get a little bit of a... I, I never understood that. I mean, I, I kind of get it because it's more of a challenge to play against the, the better teams. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of, I guess, let your guard down against the not-so-good not teams, but, I mean... You can't do that, though. It, right. It doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. Right. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't seen anybody up here yet that's given given the right answer. No, no they're, um, they're all... They're all you know, none of them are correct. Yeah, you're not even close. That's the third Bernie Perron uh, yeah. pop up that I, Carly <laughs> Lloyd. I, I I would love Carly Lloyd, Sean. That that would be an awesome one. Yeah, I I I, I vote for Carly Lloyd. You got her, you got her phone number? She might be she might be a football player now. I know, right? She uh, she's the, the field goal. Yeah, the 50 I know yard, I'm yeah. going to catch a lot of heat for this, but I got to say it. I know she kicked a 55 yarder. How many did it take? Right. It was one. That was it. Yeah. One and done. One and done. You know that. Yeah. I don't know that, but <laughs> I'm sure she kicked it right away. She's a soccer player. They can put the ball where they want with, the, with spin. She just kicked yeah. it right down the middle. One, one, one shot. Yeah, but did you see how long, like, that one shot they had, her legs were, like, look like her uh, legs. She had long legs. Yeah, but, like, when she did the stretch, her legs were, like, 12 foot long. Jesus. It, it was, like... You know, she had pads on though, so I mean, it's, you know, it's a little, it's a little difficult. Oh, uh, here, let's roll out the excuses. <laughs> but you know, the wind was blowing down, downwind to it. <laughs> you know, in that, in that 130 degree no unit. comment. No comment. <laughs> she picked, she, she no nailed comment. It. All right, she nailed so, that ball. Okay. <clears throat> Next no subject. <laughs> yeah, oh, but, but I didn't understand she was still... at the Eagles practice. And I know where you're going with that. And it was the Ram or the, the Ravens. Team was she was kicking with us. yeah the 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 the, uh, the center and, and who the, hiked the ball and the holder were yeah. both were both Ravens. Ravens. 
what, what, what is that all about? I don't understand. Is it, she's she's the, local, right? Del Rand, New Jersey. Right. Yeah. She's a big Eagles fan. Right. Why, why is she not hanging out with, you know, Zach Ertz, his wife's on the team. You would think they'd be hanging out with the Eagles team. I don't understand that. I don't think we got the whole story. Yeah. No. I'm pretty much guessing you did not get the whole story. So, and I don't think you ever will. So, staying with baseball. Yes. Right? This is right up your wheelhouse. Right up your wheelhouse. All right, give it to me. The spring training schedule's out. I know. <laughs> I already I already sent it to Larry. <laughs> spring training schedule's out. So, you may not like this, but my plan, I'm leaving the beginning of spring training and I'm coming back the end of spring training. <laughs> Wow. You write that down. <laughs> August 21st, right? <laughs> That's my plan. So now, whether that actually happens or not, Fe- there was February through May. I would love I mean, I seriously okay, I would love so to what, do that. So what's the realistic two weeks? Um, I would like to do three, but I can work from down there, so it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. So um, I got to You got to take vacation, too. I have to, I have to take my vacation. So, um, so I'll take two weeks and maybe work a week, but I got to check with my boarders down there to see if they're going to allow me to stay for three weeks. They might kick me out after two and say, your time's up. Oh, if, you the cook, if you're cooking the sauce and everything. That's true. I do cook for sure. a couple times. I'm sure they'll let you stay. <laughs> Keep bringing a little extra meatballs and some sauce and you're good to go. Yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I know in my house, if you're cooking, <laughs> you're king. Exactly. <laughs> so, you can stay as long as you want. You know, All right, so I, do I owe you some gravy? I didn't say anything about it. I, I'm, I didn't I'm say, just throwing it out there. No, I'm not, I'm not going down there again. Nope. <laughs> not, not saying anything about it. Nope. So the spring training schedule is out. Yep. My plans are March <coughs> 6th to March 21st. All right. And from there, are your feet planted on the ground? Go ahead. I'm driving to Nashville. Really? Nashville Flyers. Really? Yes, sir, buddy. Wow. It's only like a seven-hour drive, I believe. Okay. Seven, eight-ish. Little detour. I don't care. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm on vacation. Yeah, do it. <laughs> my boss told me to take my vacation. <laughs> that sounds awfully good, doesn't it? Does it does sound good. So, uh, uh, we got somebody else from South Carolina. Yeah, Greg. well, that's yeah. He's he's been in South Carolina. Yeah, mm-hmm. he runs with the rich down there. His, his brother's down there. Ooh, yeah, brother, I want to. I want to yeah. hook up with him. Yeah, his his brother and sister in law. God there. bless him. Mm, so. God bless you, Greg. That's awesome. Yeah, no to Bill Burke. Greg, when are you coming home? <clears throat> so now, yeah, no to Bill Berge, no to Westbrook, no to Charlie Manuel. Nope. So nobody's nope. even close nope. yet. Lou Nolan is watching. Lou Nolan stopped All by. Right. The- Lou yeah. Nolan stopped by the store to say hi today. Uh, we were almost going to get him to do the uh, the little promo. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> he came in right as we were getting ready uh, to come push, on. push play, and he came in. We had, you know, we need to have him back on the show. Lou's pretty. Yeah. He was awesome. Lou's awesome. He's like a great. Lou. Lou's a great guy. He's been a great friend for a for a long, long time. So yeah. Yep. Yep. He's uh, um, he's ready for hockey. Yes, he's ready for the hockey. Here he is, the countdown. Forty-four days still. Yeah, know what he says? Forty-four or forty-three or something like that. Yeah, he was he was ready. And you were saying what? September sixteenth was the uh, spring train or the first, first game? Exhibition. First game, Islanders. Yeah. September sixteenth. Really? It's right around the corner. Yep, three weeks later. So they're redoing <clears throat> Wells Fargo Center. Well, just the upper upper level. They did the lower bowl last year. Right. They're redoing this. Um, they don't think they're going to be done before the first preseason game, which is the goal. Okay. So they go, they're going to have to be done before the first regular season game. So they're, re, they're redoing, I think, the this, uh, the luxury boxes. Okay. Right. Which is only a step to do what they want to do because they're not going to have enough time to do what they want to do. So they're going to have to wait until next year to do it. And the only reason I know this is because my neighbor is the guy doing doing the job. So he was he was telling me a little bit about um, what they're trying to do, but they they fell so far behind. Why? Uh, he didn't didn't Did he say. get the dirt. No. 
you can get the inside scoop Not so yet. we could break. No, I got to feed them more beer. That whole thing. Thing. <laughs> so let me, let's just kick this one around a little bit. So all the season ticket holders are not happy. Right. They're not happy. Big, big increases. They, went, they cool. went, you know, not only with the increase in prices. Right. Now there's no more paper ticket. Right. Oh, it's all. It's all electronic. Gotcha. So our good friend Skip, who he's a ticket crazy man right because he loves his tickets oh yeah I like them. and it, you know what if you're not you know if you're if you're not on your phone 24 7 wheeling and dealing it's, right it's, it's a lot more difficult yep so hard with know, the flip phone too what's that hard with the flip phone too yeah our, our <laughs> <laughs> yeah well <laughs> so you can't you, you can't okay even... guys it's seven o'clock <clears throat> in time just keep hanging in yeah. there rick we'll we'll get to you so you can't even download a ticket and print it out. It's got to be all on your phone. I don't think well, so. I mean, you might be able to print like the piece of paper. I don't think paper. so. Well, I mean, lately, I even, right, with the so, par- even with the parking passes, you can't. Tommy Kelly's on on the board. So Tommy, right. can you can you print can you print a ticket off off of your phone or or computer and use that to to get through the gate? Skip one just checked in. Somebody, somebody must have told him I was talking about. Him. Mm. These walls can talk. He, uh, he, he, he know that. Yeah. He know these that. walls can talk. You know, just like the Reese Hoskins straight down. That's all. That's all. That's fine. That. Uh, you guys are going you guys, in, you guys completely in, the, in the wrong direction with you, these guesses. You guys thought I was nuts. Well, no, no, no. you're not. No, no, no. Like, 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 like not said, completely. It's either Hoskins or Bohm. Not completely. Those, those are the two guys who would have to be traded. To get to get you pieces. <clears throat> oh, for three dollars, they'll give you paper. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Nice. I did not know that. So, that's so you, for three dollars per, per game. Ticket? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, three dollars per game per ticket. You hear that, Skip? On for it's, three bucks, you can get your paper ticket. So really, it's gonna yeah. put, it, is that much of a one hundred and twenty dollars that, that they can't for each fan? <laughs> that's so crazy. Greg, Greg's not having any any luck fishing down there. That's because he's not using the Swedish fish. That's right. You're not using the Swedish fish, Greg. <coughs> but you're out on the boat. So any day out on the boat is better than better than a day in the office. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, so it's it's seven oh three. Is it is it time to uh Yeah, these guys are going in a way different the way well, wrong direction. Well it's they keep saying the same one. We I know. it's not Bernie Perron. It's not Perron, it's not Kelly, not not Dave Schultz. I don't know what that means, Dave. What? I heard that inside at fan accommodations. That it was three dollars. Yeah, I, uh, I I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a thing but, or not. But I know I but, know I know fans aren't happy. No, but I know yeah. the choice tickets you can well, print. You can right, print so fans are never happy when they make changes. I'm going to throw another angle to this because the tickets are used for other reasons. Okay. NHL debut. Right. right, the players sign them. Right, yeah. you use them for autographs. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. How many pieces have we have we framed Smart up special events. with a ticket? Can you see me? Somebody giving yeah. me their phone, right? <laughs> <laughs> with their ticket, you gotta, get, you gotta have the uh, USB <laughs> port to go in there to charge your. Yeah, I need to you, you could you could take a picture of it. I know. You do that, but, but it's, it's not, not the, the same. same. I know. Right. It's I not know. the same. They don't understand the I workings know. of the memorabilia world. Right. They that's that's big. Ah, uh, see. They Dang. don't care. That's that's a big part. It's easier for them. They can spend less money. Come on, Skip Vaughn. Something better than what a total ripoff. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You got something better than that. Come on. <clears throat> Let's go. Come on. See, from, right. from, 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 their, show, from their standpoint, they spend less money because they don't have to provide the paper. They don't have any overhead, right? And they're they're making more right. because – They're not spending – Right. I think I think they said for the Phillies it's like a million million dollars or, or, or something more like that for the you know yeah. the tickets. So, but yeah. you know, you, you just spent three hundred and thirty million on Harper, so you can you, know, you can uh, yeah I know. And it's not like they're lowering the, the ticket prices, so you just have that factor. They're in. not. See Michael Taylor right there. You know he's got the first game of Carter Hart. I'm bummed. Right. It's the last ticket stuff. Right. right. You know what I mean? I mean like first goals for guys. You know. Yeah. 
I mean, you know, look at the Super Bowl, the Eagles, right. the different levels of those Super Bowl tickets. Yeah. They're, they're magnificent. Right. I mean, they're holographic. Oh, yeah. They're, absolutely. They're gorgeous. Yep. Right. How are you doing away with all that? Well, are they going to do away with it for the playoffs? I don't know. That's, I think that that's a separate question. They don't like us anymore, Jack, because because you keep on talking about Borchek. Yeah, it's Jake's it's Jake's fault. Jake didn't yeah. want hard tickets anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's another reason to get rid of them. And, uh, so, so before we make our couple of announcements, Eagles football preseason. So nobody cares, right? Well, hold on. Has has Wentz even taken a snap? Oh, he's playing a lot. Yeah, of okay. In practice, in practice. only in practice. practice. I'm talking about in the. I'm preseason. talking about practice. No, he's not going. He's not going. He's, he's not going to do anything. Practice, anything. right? Not so, in the games. Um, you can't. You can't right Sudfeld's now. done. Right. Well, well, yeah, until October, right? Yeah, he's he's he'll be back. And then his backup also got taken out. Right. Well, yeah, a concussion. So okay. All right. So who's the backup to the backup to the backup? Well, they just signed. Um, you didn't get the message. They didn't call I you. did, but I just, they called some McNown. other forty-year-old guy. They called out of retirement, but now, okay, from the Jets. All right, one year, two million dollars uh, guarantee. Stinger's getting closer. Is he? Kind of. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So, um, preseason game tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I'll be there. Will you? I'll be there. Who are they playing? Ravens. Ravens. Okay. Yep. Um, so, I mean, it's game three. You might see a couple of starters. You're not going to see much. No, I right. But I, I don't really – I don't know. I mean, there's not many jobs that are that no. are open. No, I don't – I don't, there really isn't. <clears throat> no, it's not. You know? Um, and, they, and they've been practicing with the Ravens all week this week. You know, they got their experience against going against live competition. So Week one at home, Redskins. Right. You know, that's what everybody's gunning for, right? Yeah. Right. Redskins and they, and they appear to be horrible again. Right, right. That's what they're hoping that they'll be able to. They still have uh, Jay Gruden. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, come on, Skip. Short sentences. We can't read that much. <laughs> About eBay. Yeah. Sure. Well, win it. Win it. Just blame it on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Just blame it on eBay. So our, you know. <clears throat> I mean, we we we've we've pretty much you know Charlie's taken a lot of our thunder for the show, like, right. rightfully so. Absolutely. Yep. Right. What do you, what do you want? Thousand games. Four out of six games so far. Thousand thousand plus games as the manager. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He'll never he'll never have to buy a beer in this town. Absolutely. No. Right. Does he even drink beer? Charlie, do you drink beer? <laughs> he might be listening. I, he just might be listening. There you go. Joe there Stinger. You go. Stinger got Joe it. Stinger made the announcement. Vince Papali, <laughs> September 11th. PJ Willihans. Joe Stinger. Do you have ins- a man. Does he have insider trader information? I, huh? He's, he's, huh? He's bugged his walls. If these yeah. walls could talk. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Joe Stinger, you are the man. The man, the myth, the legend, and a CCC Hall of Famer. He is. So Vince Papali will be joining us at PJ Willihan's on Wednesday, September 11th. Yep. Yeah. So the three of us, him, and all of you. So it'll be a, it'll be a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'll be we'll, fun. We'll have a lot of invincible that night. Yeah. Vince, Vince is a good guy. He's a little so, shy. He's well, a little shy. You don't. Yeah. You don't bring yeah. much to the table. Yeah. You, you need to. You need to, to draw him out a little bit. Right. Give, give him a couple minutes to warm up. Delco yeah. guy, right? Yeah. Delco, Interboro. Start his football right? season. Yeah. St. Joe's University, right? Track and field. Mm-hmm. So I, what's the what what's what was the what was the highlight of the movie <clears throat> when he walked in? Or should we save that for, for yeah, the trivia question? Save should we save, save that for the trivia? Save that one for the trivia. It's the best part of the movie. I love that. I love that part though. Which one? He walks over to the equipment manager and <laughs> you know he looks at his helmet and he goes, "You spelled it incorrectly." <laughs> the guy looks at him and he goes, "Does it matter? Does it matter? <laughs> Does it really matter?" <laughs> best part of the movie. Best part of the movie. Ben's already booking reservations for the Four Seasons room. Yes, they do. They yep. will reserve for you. Yes. Get them in soon. They will. 
They will. They fill up quick. Hey, B, how'd you do at the casino? Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. Um, but, yeah, so that's September 11th. Right. So we're pretty excited about that. Oh, right? absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I just kind of put something in there and tag, tagged Vince in it, too. So Nice. Yeah, but. so we're, uh, we, we got that going on the week before, <laughs> Wednesday, Which September is, 4th. Right, two weeks from now. Which the is Reading the, Fightings have right. made the playoffs. We will be at the first playoff game yep. in baseball town, live, live in the Yingling, uh, what do they call that? The Yingling Tap Room. We will be there broadcasting live. And we will hopefully have not just one, not just two, but possibly three players sitting in on that hour to talk with us about minor league baseball. Hello? This guy right no, here, just, Derek Hall. It was just like LeBron James. Not one, not two, two. <laughs> not two, not three. Uh -huh. So we're pretty, we're we're pretty excited. We're partnering up again with the Red Reading Fightings, but I'm not done. Because it gets even better, and I'll, and by the time this gets spread around, we might have a lot more than just the three. Because I think a, a lot of them are going to get jealous that they're not going to be on. The ah, show. there you go. There could yeah. be a line of people. Oh yeah, they'll be they'll be lining up. All right. I'm, With the mask I'm disappointed in. in you, Belinda. <laughs> Tom won't let me go. That is total disappointment. Yeah, who right wears there. the pants in that family? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. There's your shout out. He, he's he's got to sleep sometime. <laughs> so, going back to our event on the 31st. 31st with Derek Hall. Right. You purchase an autograph ticket. Come meet Derek, get an autograph, get a photo op, whatever you want to do. Whatever. We're easy to get along with. With that purchase, you will receive two free tickets. Two free tickets to the playoff game of your choice. With us on the 4th or the following night on the 5th. There you go. Does it get any better? <laughs> can't be free. I don't huh? think. Yeah, you can't Does be free. Does it get free. any better? Can't be free. So for fifteen bucks, two, two tickets. I say we we have delivered. Yes, I would say. So hopefully the uh, the Reading Fightings will um, now no charge was, for photo ops here, Jack Broder. Don't start trouble either. He's been here before. Come on. Stop. Yeah, but he start he's trying to start trouble. <laughs> I, I know where he went. That's a good. That's a good one by <clears throat> Jack Broder. So, there's our two major announcements. Everything will be up. Links will be up for you know to buy tickets to get free tickets. Um, well, I, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited. We're yeah. all going to be there. You know, we got, a, we got a good couple of weeks coming up. We got we got a lot going on. Um, I don't know what what else you guys want to cover. I've I've exhausted all my surprises and, <laughs> and whatnot. So what else, What do you guys got? All right, we got about 15 minutes left. Um, let's see. Uh, Oscar struck out. Well, okay. So what do we think of the new the new football league? Yeah, Vince McMahon. We were talking about that <clears throat> today. It's an eight team lake, the XFL with Vince McMahon again. Again. Hey, again. He's back with it again. Again. Now, see, we were just talking. He was close last time. Yeah, it was. Right. He was close. So but he, with the Alliance League that just folded, that right. didn't even. <laughs> that's yeah. that. I they just, didn't even finish the season, did they? Uh, they didn't get through three games. I don't think. No. <clears throat> what they got to do is they got to kind of make like the D League or the G League now. Is it the G League or the D League? They keep changing the alphabets. It's um. It's G now League, the right? G League. G League, right? Yeah. Okay. They, they got to basketball. They got to do do something like that. Football is the one football. sport. Yeah. You got to have a. A minor league team for each NFL yeah. team. Yeah. Play, um, play the same system. Play the same way. So when do they start playing? The XFL? Yeah. I'm not sure when they are. They start uh, next year? Yeah, I don't know what. I, to be so, honest with you, I didn't follow it that close. Man. So the arena, arena football is still around. Well, that just finished up. That just finished up the 11th. All right. And by the way, Jaws owns three of the teams. Does he really? He owns three of the six teams. I gotta keep them around. Talking uh, about having a good boss. No, yeah, yeah. Um, what? The, there, there's six or there's four? There's actually six teams. I believe so. I thought I thought there was four. Well, it could have been down to four. Okay. I know. Um, 
How do you have a league with four teams? You end up playing the same people every every other week. So the soul was in the final. They were. They lost to New York. Right. right. Um, how are they still around? Have you ever gone to a soul game? I went to one. I left at halftime. <laughs> sorry. And my, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jaws. My my guess is that there wasn't a lot of people there. No, the beer wasn't cold. Why why chill the beer when there's not going to be anybody there watching the game? So um, I don't know. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand why it's still there, but it is. It, it had, in in all defense, it has been a good brand of football for a long time. Yeah. For yeah. a long time. Well, and, and indoor, then they took that indoor year arena, off. indoor arena football at, at a couple different levels. Yeah. It's, quick it's, pace. Been, around, it's yeah. been around for a while. Yeah. It has. I mean, it's it's a good concept because it's a fast moving game. Right. Right. Yep. Um, I, I don't know how much different XFL is going to be from the NFL. So, has there been any previews? Do we know how many teams they have? Eight. Eight, eight, teams? eight teams, eight teams. But like I said, Phil, I have a team. No, no, thank God. That's one less team we have to cover. Right. Oh, we got God. our hands full. We need to start talking about the union. How about the soccer team? Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm up for talking about doing them. well. Can you name one player? I can't. Um, oh, I, can, I can't. I don't follow soccer. I'll be. The, I, I'm, I, I'm, I used I'm, to be able to. I'm guilty. Uh, one of the. A uh, guy that graduated with one of Bill's sons is on the team. Well, Perfect. they've got a phenomenal so, player, apparently. Nick Graff, if you're if you're out there, they got a phenomenal player. Anytime he touches the ball, it's it's in the it's net. in the net. Well, I don't know about that, but it's close. Well, um, I'm just I just went by one of his comments today. So we we need to go to a a, a union game. Um, we, you have a mouse in your pocket. We, no, uh, why not? They're fun. I got hand my hands full with. Sixers, Flyers, Phillies, Eagles, Redding, Redding, Clearwater. <clears throat> I got it. This is closer though. It's in Chester. That'll just drag me over to Harris. That's all that. <laughs> I mean. And that didn't end well last week either. So we don't need to. We don't need to go down there. Uh, come on, it's fun. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll we'll get you to a Union game. Before. All right, good. Before they fold, you gotta, take, you me, do take me to the championship game. <laughs> <laughs> take me to the championship game. We're a playoff. That? We're a playoff team fan. Okay. <clears throat> Wait till they make the playoffs, which might not be this year. <laughs> so, anything anybody wants to recap, go over yep. comments, questions, questions, comments, observations. John, you've been quiet. <clears throat> we have. You've been quiet. Yeah, we don't have a lot of. Talk I, I brought you on. I, I, I spent a hundred bucks for a new mic. So everybody can hear you, and you're just not saying, for you, and you're for not saying, and you're not saying anything. Uh, I'm talking. No, he's been talking. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but he's usually more. Well, but we had a lot of. We well, lot of, we we weren't talking specifics. I don't. No notes. No notes. It's all here now. Ah, okay. <clears throat> you know. All right. I mean, you know, we, what do you want to talk about the, the lineup? So what, what, what do you think so far? The difference has been with Charlie. See the, see the approach being different? I, um, for the first couple of games. I, I got I got to see 10 or 12 games. Right. Right. Well, yeah, of course. I, I, need, I need to see 10 or 12 games to see. And, and I got to see the guys, you know, in a situation where they know where they're going to be. Right. You know what I mean? Is, is truly leadoff spot for Reese Hoskins the rest <clears> of the year? I think that's the dumbest thing ever. I, why? Well, because they want them to to look early for fastballs. Yeah, they're trying to trying to. I mean, it's other teams have done that to get you know, like the, the Cubs do it with Rizzo and a couple right. other guys, just for a game or two to get them jump started. But I'll let I'll let you read it because it's from your AO2 fan club. <laughs> <laughs> I got my big voice boy back, the voice back. <laughs> you know. Oh see, my God. See, you know, <clears throat> taking shots. It's okay. Bing. Bing. <laughs> yeah. Bing. It's all right. I deserve it. We're just having fun. You know, but we're just we're just having fun. Yeah, and, I mean uh, it's I mean I, I like seeing them, you know, Harper's hit more balls to, to left field than he has in this past well, seven seven. Funny games. you mentioned that. Was it 
was it la- last night? His he, first at bat. Yeah, he he looked, he, the pitch before. He looked that way. Right. He looked horrible swinging at it. L.A. I thought was going to come out of his his <laughs> his uh, seat. Mm. You know, at, at what he was swinging at. No sooner the next pitch, you know, just lined it. Just 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 drove it down the left field line right. for a double. And then the next time up, you saw him. The TV panned at his eyes, and you could see him looking over to the well, over guess, there to see because everybody every it was They're wide always, open, right? right? It, it took the it took the left fielder a half hour to get to the ball, right? And if it wasn't for slow footed Reese Hoskins, well, that and clogging the, up the and a, and a, and a hundred ninety feet down the, the third you know left field line. I'm sorry, he would he would have had a double or triple. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, but yeah, I mean, it, <clears throat> Hoskins is just oh, Brian's not happy. Yeah, well, I mean, the problem is he—he's, they have, Hoskins. Hoskins' problem is he's too loyal, right? And he wants to not rock the boat. Okay. You know, so he, he's going along with the coaching staff. So, so he's following. Well, what do you he's do? following their you, approach. You walk in and you see the lineup, and you're you're at number one. What are you What are you going to do? Right. Are you going Are you going to go in and tell? Well, no, but as far as the approach, you know, he you know, taking the pitch. I don't think. High. I don't think wherever he has batted, I don't think his approach is any different. Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. Should it be though? It, no, it, it should be, because I, I had talked with Pete McCannon at, at one point, okay, last year, and he said his first game when he was up, and I told him to go up the bat. He walked up to him and said, "Do I drive the guy in or do I move the runner?" So his approach coming into into the pros this first week right. wasn't to pull everything to hit home runs. It's you know to hit the ball the other way. Like he's he's a gap hitter, right? You know that's the way he is, and he does hit home runs. But um, you know because just the way baseball is right now, you're, you're going to hit home runs by hitting a nice line drive because the balls are so juiced. Right. Well, that but it just it, it just they're bigger. They're bigger. Yeah. Strong, you know. So they're all faster, right? It's, and it's hotter out. And now Mally came in, and everything's pull the ball, hit the home runs, you know. And so now he's doing that, and he's letting pitches go, right, on the outside part, and he's trying to pull them, and he's getting weak weak hits out instead of driving at the right field, right center. Yeah, you know. Well, I don't know. I think we we could be seeing some really good games. Up and up in Cleveland, because it's going to be towards the end of the season, and if they're still in the mix, oh yeah, then you know. The problem is Cleveland's a good team. <laughs> That's the problem. Have you ever been to Progressive Field? No. It's it's a really good field. No. Um, to, to see a game in. Right. We, we were there a couple of years ago. Uh, depends on where you're sitting. Um, well, we had pretty good damn seats. I think right. we got. Yeah, right, we're right. We're right, right, first base. right over. We're right over the Phillies dugout. Yep, right behind yeah. the Phillies dugout. Yeah, we just got to be careful. We can't can't be yelling at Capo or get kicked out. Sure, we can. <laughs> now nah, he'll was kick that us. a true was that a true comment? Was twice. that verified? Yeah, twice. He had he had people, people thrown apparently, out. Apparently, yeah. yeah. I didn't I didn't know it was what? confirmed from there. San Citizens Francisco. Bank? No, no, from San Francisco. Really? And last year was it in Boston? What what were they saying? Supposedly. The, the one guy wasn't cursing or anything. Just said that okay. you know, it's a way to motivate show. your way to motivate your team <laughs> and you know this and that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Curse words. And, right. You know, got a line. Supposedly the the Giants fans were surprised that they were kicking him out. Really? Uh, they they weren't happy that you know they were booing that he was getting kicked out. How true that story is? You know, oh, who no, knows? To test that theory. You know, Cap were then <laughs> Cap were then turned through it through the. Through the his players on the bus and said it wasn't him, that it was, must have been one of the players. Wow, why do you stick by your players? Because um, the All right, we'll, we'll, the we'll Giants, to... the Giants security staff said the manager told us we had to remove you. If we're close enough, we'll have to test that theory. Yeah, I like the Bryce Harper theory. What's that? The player was screaming at him. Yeah, the fan, oh, yeah. The fan was screaming at him. Harper. Yeah. The, the fan was screaming at him right before yeah. he had the grand slam that night. And, uh, yep. And, and Harper took it into his own hands. Absolutely, right. and that's the way to do it. You know, right. that was all over social yeah. media. <laughs> it was and that no, wasn't family. No, no, that wasn't no, family. That was not family friendly. <laughs> oh, God, you know, but yeah. No, was, I, I, I think you know, 
I mean, Hoskins' struggles the second half have been unbelievable. Well, yeah, but you're you struggling. Know? You can't move him to the leadoff. You know, it just – no one's done anything to help him. Nothing. So he got four home runs yeah. in the second half. So He's hopefully – 60. You know, and then here, here goes back to the, the whole thing. Why is he still up here? And Franco had to get sent down. Yeah. We almost made it through the show. <laughs> almost. I'm just saying. Almost. Damn. <laughs> damn. I'm just saying. Almost made it through the show. <laughs> you know. You were trying to, to sidestep that, weren't you? Yeah. You know, I knew he, he was, was, he was laying it up there. Though. He was <laughs> laying, the, laying the fastball up there for me. I hit it. I hit it for a homer. <clears throat> you know. Why, you know. So why did they send him down? Because he's, he's the whipping boy. They don't has, like him. Has been for a couple of years. He's, he's, right. he's the, been. you know. So do you think that move happens one week prior if, if Charlie's on the team? No. Probably not because Charlie loves him. Right. You know, and, and Charlie, Charlie. So does Matt Stairs. Well, right. Matt Stairs too. So right. do you think there's a chance they bring him back? No. No? I don't think he's coming back to Philly. Really? I mean, well, he, he may be in September come up, but okay, he's not going to get. He's not. He's going to be on the bench. Okay. You know, he's going to get. His, I, I, you know, which I don't. I don't get because some of the plays he was making at third base were just. Well, and the thing is, he's he's, so, he's your right-handed power. Right. You're talking about third base, and you got a you know you got a pretty nice player in Redding, Alex Baum. Right. You think. He, if they're out of it for September, do you think they, they make that that call? I think Bohm's coming up. I think do they you? should. And what do you what do you do with Kingery at that at that point? I mean, because it's you know, you you gotta you gotta move some guys around. Because Kingery's been playing a pretty good third base. He, 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 his arm's getting better. He's been playing a good third base. You see the throws are a little bit better. Right? And it had you know, um, I mean he's you know, I mean he's not hitting crazy, but you know. He's got speed, so that's good. You know, but would you take Caesar out and put him in second? Well, put Bohm at third. They're in love with the Kingry can play it all over the place. Right. He's so, a good good so utility what do you do? player. You throw him back out the center so field. Out the outfield, left field, center field. Yeah. You know. How about poor Roman Quinn? Uh, yeah, can we talk uh, about Roman Quinn getting hurt again? I know he's got all the talent in the world, and he, you know, just he's just accident prone. Yeah, I know. Once he grabbed his his leg, yeah. the groin area was wasn't but good. The, some of the things he beat out at first base. Oh well, yeah. holy crap! I'm just while I'm watching. You know, there's how and then like, if he was getting the power. Yeah, power was coming back. Yep. You know, and but you know, is, <sighs> who's to say? Who's to say the? Goofing him around with the throwing him as a pitcher didn't have any anything to affect yeah, the that, groin. That, I, don't, I, don't I mean, that. do we want to shut the mic off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, these are these are the things that you know that Kapler has done to the team. All right, so with the pitching staff, while he's got a question, who do, who do we bring up in September? So Bohm, well, bring up. There's new rules, right? You yeah, can't you, bring you, up as many guys. No, you, you okay. can't bring. Yeah, it's not a. You know, you can't bring. Like you can't year. bring up twenty guys. All right, so how it many can Kapler we bring up? Rule, because Kapler screwed it up last year, bringing up forty guys. Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> I, I, Clint, Clint, I broke the whole forty man. Yeah, I'm not. I'm really? not sure yeah, of the number. Yeah, I think he might only get like three or four guys. Wow, look at look at Sue Henderson. Not a fan. Leave him in Reading. Who who leave who in Reading? Alex Bone. Alex Bone. I, really? Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Really? As far as leaving hit the mic. <laughs> well, no, I mean, here's my my. I think they're gonna bring them up just because they want to show us that they're they're the smartest ones in, in the in the in the world. But what's the, what's the upside of bringing him here? None. Because the only None. thing the only thing that's gonna happen is if a mm-hmm. if you, if he's gonna be trade possibility, you, you may hurt his trade possibility if he comes up here and falls flat on his face. I don't think they're trading. Well, no, but I'm just saying if if I think you're I think he's your future third baseman. <laughs> well, then then, he, then he's going to take the <laughs> September through March and uh, become a ballerina and get to, get that footwork going. You know, he's he's it's going to be interesting. It yeah. is. I mean, his, his footwork's. You know, because if you're going to bring these guys up, they need to play. You need to see what you got. Right. 
you know, whether it's Davey Gruyon. Yeah, Davey. That's, you know, that's why you bring him up. You know, they're not going <clears> to <throat> sit JT Ream Utel. No, but you know what I mean. He's right. playing for a contract extension. Right. Like we were saying, he could he could have been up here yesterday for these two games instead of 0 for four with Napper. What pitching do we have to bring up? Yeah, well, that's that's the I question. I mean, it's 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 pretty weak down there. Pretty weak. Yep. Cole Irvin. I've I've been calling for him all year to get him in the in the rotation, but I don't know what happened. Yeah, I mean, he had a bad outing or two. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We've all had bad nights. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. all had bad. But so. tonight was not one of them. No, right. no, that was a good night. Tonight was not that one was of them. That was a good them. night. So you want to do closing comments? Where do we start? Where do we start? Okay, we start September 4th. Big night in writing. All right. We still don't have times yet for that. Yeah, we. Um, as soon as we know times, yeah, we'll, we're going we'll, we'll to be live. There. We're going to be um, live once the gates open, so come check us out. Hang out with us. We don't know when the gates are going to open. So. No, but, but it's yeah. going to be earlier we than 6.30. We, we got a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. We got a couple weeks. We'll get the word out. It's not we worried got, about We got it. one of the best producers in all of Radio World. Uh, no the no best. argument. The best. No argument She there. will get the word out. Tenfold. Absolutely. I, I don't have a problem with that. Absolutely. So September 4th in Reading. Yep. September, September 11th. 11th like Newtown, Willahans. Newtown Square with our good friends, PJ Willahans, Dan and, and Matt. Yep. Doing oh, a, and I got I to tell you about Dan. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 or, no, I'm sorry, about Matt. I and, get to be my, like my new sidekick up there is Danielle. Danielle does a hell of a job. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yep. Danielle does a hell of a job. So. Oh, she was the one that was in the. Shout Went out. out in the rain. Well, Shout yeah. out to Danielle at PJ Willahan. Yeah. Phenomenal job. She saved um, the place. <laughs> yes, she did. She you saved it from the, the flood. The, yeah. This guy will be here By the way. Saturday a week. This 31st. guy right here, Derek Hall. 31st? Yep. Yes. 31st. All right. Yep. We got an awesome, awesome custom edit of the Home Run Derby um, with the champion's bat. Just, just a phenomenal pose. Great piece. Um, he's, we've got Eastern League balls, All Star balls, whatever, whatever you need. Come out and meet Derek. Get free playoff tickets. Again, free two, two free off playoff tickets. <laughs> With one purchase. One purchase. We make it real easy. Real easy. There you go. So. All right. Bobby Clark. Bobby Clark, Bobby Clark private signing. signing. If you if you need anything, we're here for you. For Drop next, it off. Next Wednesday. By next Wednesday. Yep. Six o'clock. Yep. Steve Harris is in charge of that one. He'll be going to that signing to take care of that. <laughs> you be back by then? I'm not sure. I threw that out. <laughs> he, 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 he'll he'll make arrangements that he's back for that. <laughs> so with all that, otherwise I have to go. Great no. night. Good night. It's not a bad thing though. Good night. It right? was good night. Absolutely. Yeah. And thanks now everybody. I'm, I'm hungry, so we're heading to we're heading to yeah. uh, Got DJ my big boy voice. You want to hang out with us? Come on up. Yep. All right. Yep. So uh, that's it. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. What do they say? Good night. Good hockey. <coughs> there you it's go. coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming. Is. All right. Have a great week, guys. Thank you. Thanks.